What is going on guys? Today I will be showing you the Pac-Man ROM on 4.2.2 Android version. <coughs> Sorry. Um, to start off I'll just go to the settings and show you guys that it's actually on 4.2.2. I already apologize for the camera again as in most of my videos but yeah it gets the it gets to the point at least but yeah it's not in very good quality. <laughs> so yeah here it says 4.2.2 I'll just go on it here that's pretty cool about this anything on 4.2.2 must be good so yeah, here now we're in the settings I'll just show you around in it a bit the Pac-Man is basically uh, three ROMs combined into one the P stands for Paranoid Android the A stands for oh yeah that's from the Paranoid Android of course and the C is from the the synagogue mod um, it could be that the A stands for something else, I'm not sure, I haven't really done my research, but anyways. Um, on top of about phone, you see performance, which is very nice to see of course. So it's now overclocked to 1.674 MHz. Of course you can slide it around and like choose where, however you want it to save battery or not. I now have it on interactive just because yeah, I like to have a lot of uh, um, battery life. So yeah, it comes with all these other settings, this is all for your for your memory. This is all like this is your log, so yeah, it comes with very very nice features. This ROM, uh, yeah, you got your developer options and all your usual stuff here, and yeah, of course, as you can see, it's split into like the the tablets and all that, which is very nice to see. Um, here you come into the customization panel, which is up to, from here to there, and basically what it is, it like it's ridiculous how much you can customize this ROM. You can change every single thing about it. I really recommend you getting it if you like customizing things to your like your own needs and wants. So yeah here's um, this one system. This is like for your status bar, your notification drawer, uh, power menu, pie settings, halo settings, so yeah you can get the pie on. Um, down here yeah so then yeah down here you've got a little shortcut. So yeah I just did uh, something like that was a halo I think I can't remember. Um, here you got ROM control, which is basically from the um, Paranoid Android, I think. Uh, here you have like general navigation bar, which maybe you've already noticed. I'm not using my hardware buttons; I've disabled them. I'm just using these uh, buttons, which is called the navigation bar. You can add them or d disable it if you want. Or I don't really like the buttons of the Xperia S's, so that's exactly why I've enabled them. You can choose what they what buttons you have on the bottom and all that so yeah it, the customization goes very very far here you have LED sound and vibration so you can even choose what colors uh, your uh, notification bars for each app you can choose what color and how fast it flashes it's now got it on 0 0.2 seconds on and 0 0.2 seconds off so it just flashes the whole time so I definitely can see when I got a uh, uh, yeah, notification uh, yeah, you've also got hybrid properties. This is probably the the best part of the phone. Uh, you got PA colors, and this basically just changes the whole, like how should I say, like the, the DPI of your phone, so the the resolution of your phone, together with many other stuff. So you can have it like a tablet. So this is tablet UI, tablet UI, tablet UI. So the green ones. This is I can show you. Well, I've, I've now got it on. I'll put it on the stock one first. This is this will look like this. I think the navigation bar will disappear. Yeah. So yeah, that's that. So I'll go down to the home menu. Um, oh yeah, I just have to mention, it comes with three launchers. The KitKat launcher is something I've put on, but it comes with three launchers. The Trebuchet launcher, the Xperia launcher, and the um, stock launcher that comes with it. I, uh, I usually go for the Trebuchet because it's pretty cool, the launcher. So yeah, that's just like a basic 4.2.2 phone now. So yeah, if you slide down your status bar, this is like with a stock thing you swipe to the right which is pretty straightforward but I find it all a bit too big as you can see so it's all like, yeah the resolution isn't very nice and like my things have grown at the bottom of my navigation bar so I'll go back to settings and I will go back into my hybrid pro properties and put it on phablet. Phablet is basically a combination of a tablet and a stock uh, and yeah and a phone um, UI. So yeah, now that was what I was on before. So if you swipe down on, wait, just let it load a bit. 
Um, there, if you slide down on the left side of the navigation bar, you get your notifications. If you swipe down on your right side, you get your yeah your shortcuts to everything. You can of course customize these as well. You can customize most things on the phone, which I've already said a few times before. So yeah, that's just that was all the settings. Uh, very nice. Um, I'll go back. I can. It comes with an Xperia launch, as I mentioned already, which is if you want to keep it like the stock, uh, the stock uh, software that comes with your phone. So yeah, well, it's not really stock. It's pr probably like one of one of the newer Xperia versions. So yeah, this is the Xperia version, and oh yeah, and in the settings.